pushes deep She knew that much before she had just gone to leave and never come back to you you want to sleep Flowerhead jellyfish are in the kingdom Animalia, which means that they are multicellular, eukaryotic, and heterotrophic. They are also in the phylum Nidaria, which means that they have muscles, nervous systems, some sensory organs, and have nidocytes, used mainly for capturing prey. The flowerhead jellyfish are in class Hydrozoa, and two different life forms exist, the polyp and the medusa. This class is made up of small predatory marine or freshwater animals. They are in order Lemnomedusae, and they have a biphasic life history. They are made up of ectoendermal statocysts and they have gonads alongside their radial canals. They're in family Olindidae, which means that they have unbranched radial canals, and as polyps, they are very small and with or without tentacles. They're in the genus Olindias, which means that they have four radial canals and numerous centripetal canals. They also have numerous tentacles of two kinds. Their primary tentacles are above the bell margin, and the secondary tentacles are below the bell margin. Their species name is Lindius formosa, and they are known for having their lustrous tentacles that coil and adhere to its rim when not used, and they have a bell that is translucent and pinstriped. They are an invertebrate, and they are also semi-benthic. The flowerhead jellyfish has a bell that is translucent with thin dark stripes, and they have flowing tentacles that are very colorful, having colors ranging from yellow, orange, pink, purple, green, and blue. The long tentacles below the bell attack the prey, whereas the shorter tentacles on top of the jellyfish are more for their sensing of the water around them. They can grow up to 15 centimeters, or approximately 6 inches in diameter, and they grow and shrink according to the available food supply. Their anatomy does not have any internal organs or bones, and they don't have a respiratory system, and instead get their oxygen through diffusion. They don't have a nervous system or a brain, and instead use a nerve net, which coordinates their muscle contractions, allowing them to re react to their surroundings. Most of their tissue, approximately 95%, is made up of water, but it is because of special proteins that gives it its special gelatinous texture. Their lifespan is approximately 4 to 6 months. The flowerhead jellyfish eat small fish and marine invertebrates. They catch their prey by injecting them with venom using their tentacles. The prey that they trap in their tentacles gets passed to their oral arms, which then passes their food up to their stomach, which is on the underside of the bell. The food is then digested and transported to the rest of their body via the radial canals. The flowerhead jellyfish are preyed upon by tunas, sharks, swordfish, salmon, sea turtles, and other flowerhead jellyfish. The flowerhead jellyfish are commonly found on the coastal waters of Brazil, Argentina, and southern Japan, mainly in the Atlantic Ocean. In Brazil, they bloom in such high quantities that they pose a risk to other swimmers and interfere with the shrimp fishing. They mainly live close to the ocean floor, though they are sometimes found swimming closer to the surface. They remain clustered on kelp fronds and the sea grass. There are many things that are really interesting about the flower head jellyfish. When they bloom, it actually signifies increasing pollution or an imbalance in the ecosystem. Their digestive system consists of their mouth and their stomach. It's actually their bells, not their tentacles, that allow the jellyfish to move around. And their tentacles produce a sting that, while it's not deadly for humans, produces a very painful rash. Flowerhead jellyfish play a very important role in the coastal water's food web because they prey on planktonic organisms like crustaceans, copepods, and fish larvae, which thus helps control their population levels out in the wild. Some species of sea turtles and seabirds feed on the jellyfish, which allow for these species to eat and continue on the food web. Some evolutionary traits include its stingers, which help protect itself, and also the bell, which allows it to move by pumping water from the environment. Currently, no conservation efforts for the species are known, despite the fact that they are very rare. The reproduction cycle for jellyfish is very similar. They have a very complex life cycle where they reproduce both sexually and asexually throughout their lifetime, and they take on two different forms. Sexual reproduction occurs during the adult jellyfish phase, where they're called medusa, and they mass release eggs and sperm from their mouths. Most of this fertilization takes place in the open ocean, where they can then fertilize in the water. But in some cases, the sperm swims into the female's mouth where the eggs are fertilized. These fertilized eggs then develop into planulae, which is free-swimming larvae, and they then attach to a firm surface and transfer into polyps. The asexual reproduction phase occurs when a jellyfish reaches a polyp phase, and they reproduce asexually. 
They do this by dividing in half to produce a genetically identical polyp. Depending on the size of the jellyfish and the type of the jellyfish, we can also transform into medusa instead of dividing. Just like the flower hat, moon jellies are kingdom animalia and phylum nidaria. Unlike the flower hat, moon jellies are class Cyphozoa, which are also referred to as the true jellyfish. They have two life phases, medusa and polyp. They are also gelatinous and four part symmetric. Moon jellies belong to family Almeridae, which means they have simple or branch radial canals and a ring canal. Moon jellies are genus Aurelia. They undergo alternation of generations where the sexually reproducing pelagic medusa stage is either male or female. The scientific name is Aurelia arita. They are multicellular, diboplastic, and have a gastrovascular system. The average size of a moon jelly is 25 to 40 centimeters, which translates to 10 to 16 inches. Moon jellies are made up of 95% water. They have mesoglea, which is a gelatinous-like structure, and it consists of two layers, known as the outer epidermis and the inner gastrodermis. They are transparent, which means they are bluish and pinkish in color. They have four horseshoe-shaped gonads under the stomach inside the bell, which categorizes it as a medusa. They are hydrostatic, relating to or denoting the equilibrium of liquids and the pressure exerted by liquid at rest, skeleton, that uses for locomotion, which means it can move from one place to another. They have no sexual nervous system, instead use a nerve network. They can sense light and dark even without eyes. Moon jellyfish obtain their food by using their tentacles. They eat mollusks, crustaceans, worms, copepods, plankton, fish eggs, and larvae. It eats small amounts. Its predators include birds, fish, and sea turtles, and moon jellyfish eat whenever it comes in contact with food. Moon jellyfish live close to shore and close to the surface in harbors or estuaries. They live in brackish waters 9 to 19 degrees Celsius in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Ocean. Moon jellyfish develop toxins to protect themselves from predators. They are important in the ecosystem because they eat small organisms and then provide food for bigger or organisms such as sea turtles. They have existed for over 650 million years. They originated in the eastern Atlantic coast of northern Europe. They are endangered but could be because pollution highly affects them. Moon jellyfish are survivors. They survive in most conditions. There actually is a boom in the jellyfish population because so many of them have migrated into seas in large numbers such as the Japan Sea, Black Sea, and the Mediterranean Sea. The overpopulation of jellyfish is due to the overfishing of their natural predators such as tuna. Sea turtles are also being affected. Many sources believe that nations all over the globe will soon be forced to eat jellyfish in order to keep the populations at a steady level. Some interesting facts about moon jellyfish are that they can cause blackouts, which have been recorded in California, because they clog water pulling in tapes, which causes blackouts. Many Asian cultures eat them. They don't have a brain, heart, eyes, or bones. They are made up of 95% water. When light from the sun or moon is shown over them, they glow. Mantaborostris, or manta ray, is in kingdom Animalia. This means they're multicellular, eukaryotic, and heterotrophic. They're included in phylum chordata. They have bilateral symmetry, segmented body, a tail that extends further than the rest of their body, and a complete digestive system. Manta rays are included in the class Chondrectes. This means they have jawed vertebrae, a heterocircle tail, and cartilage skeletons. Their order is Meliobatiforms. They have four to seven internal and external gill openings. They also lack lungs or swim bladders. Their family is Meliobatidae, their genus is Manta, and their species is Cephalopterus. There are two species of manta ray. The largest mantas on Earth can reach 2,980 pounds. Their average lifespan is about 20 years. They have horizontally flattened bodies to help them swim better, small dorsal fins at the base of their tail, and they're the largest type of ray. Mantas move through the water by their wing-like movements of their pectoral fins. Supported with cartilage instead of bones, so they're pretty much similar to sharks in that way. They're a type of stingray, although they can't sting because through evolution they lost their barb. Manta rays are known to frequently visit cleaning stations where small fish, such as angelfish, swim in the manta ray's gills and over its skin, cleaning its skin and getting rid of parasites. This is known as mutualism. Manta rays sometimes breach, in which they leap out of the water and into the air. Manta rays are very docile in nature, which means they want to eat you. They have cephalic lobes, which are the lobes at the front of their mouth, and they're usually kept rolled and pointed forward, except when the manta is feeding. At this time, cephalic lobes will be opened and extended. 
A manta ray's diet includes plankton and some small animals. They do not have any teeth, so they eat by taking food particles out of the water using rows of tiny plates in their mouths, which they funnel in their mouth as they swim, known as filter feeding. They generally feed at night, near or around coral reefs, and they're also known to migrate in search of food. Mantas live in tropical and subtropical waters and tend to stay near coral reefs, but they often venture into open ocean. They are found in the Atlantic Ocean in both North and South regions. They migrate for food, though it is dangerous because they are susceptible to predators, such as sharks and killer whales. And they are in danger of getting caught in fishing nets or being run over by boats. Pollution affects their habitat because they are filter feeders, so they take in basically everything that's in the water. They have been venturing into waters where they are not normally found due to humans polluting their natural habitats and pushing them to go elsewhere. Mantas are decreasing in population, and the exact population is unknown, but subpopulations are thought to be about 1,000 individuals. The average lifespan of a manta ray is 20 years. Maturity to reproduce depends on size, not age. For males, it's about 13 feet, and for females, it's about 16 feet. Mantas tooted and booted, otherwise known as not sticking together after mating. Male manta rays can be pretty aggressive because there's a lot of competition. They give live birth, which is no egg. Manta rays are known for giving premature birth and having dead offspring because stress can cause a spontaneous abortion. They give birth to only one or two pups at a time. Offsprings have a high mortality rate because their mothers don't stick around to nurse them. Manta rays are ovoviviparous, meaning that the embryo develops within the eggs retained in the mother's uterus. The embryo is nourished by its egg's small yolk. Mantas can lose their productive mucous membrane if they are touched by humans. They are also very close relatives of sharks. They have the largest brain to body ratio compared to all sharks and rays on earth. Their pups, when born, come out looking like little rolled up burritos. Manta rays have no specific effect on the ecosystem, but do help keep the population of prey and predators regulated. The larger manta rays are at lower risk of endangerment because of their size, they have minimal predators. Smaller mantas cannot migrate and have more predators putting them at a greater risk of endangerment. They evolved from a bottom feeder to an open ocean filter feeder.